Hey, this is Drew from Moon Audio and welcome back to Audio File Tech Tips. Last week we had an in-dev conversation about how you can, can or cannot interchange digital and analog cables and how you use them between components. We came down to the decision that, look, analog cables just don't work great in a digital domain. They have impedances that you have to, you have to work with, 75 ohms for a coax a RCA digital cable and 110 ohms for a ABS EBU uh, balanced uh, uh, digital cable. So I wanted to talk today about some problem solving. Let's say that you've got a transport, and I've got a transport here that has just about every possible digital output on it. And essentially, let's say that your transport only has an AES output, which is this XLR connector right here. And your DAC, for whatever reason, doesn't have an AES uh, connection downstream. So we have a cool little device uh, made by Conair that has an impedance transformer in here. So what this does in this situation, and I've got a, uh, a BNC to BNC cable here connected, and it all just depends on what your connections are, what you need downstream. But in this case, I was just using a simple BNC to BNC uh, coax RCA cable. But what this does is it's converting it from 110 ohms impedance load and converting it to 75 ohms with a transformer in here. And so now you can connect to your downstream DAC that only has, say, a 75 ohm impedance on the downstream end. On the flip side, let's get this cable out of here. Let's say that your transport only has this coax RCA output that's 75 ohms. Well, then we use this other impedance adapter that's now got the male XLR. You'll, I've done a RCA connection on this side, but you have to do a BNC for both of these adapters to work because they only come with a BNC adapter. We can do specific custom cables for you to go from RCA to RCA, BNC to RCA, upstream, downstream, whatever you want. And then this impedance adapter connects onto the cable and this would plug into your AES input on your DAC. Impedances are very important in the digital domain. You can't just use, like we sell, Cardis RCA to XLR adapters. There are no transformers in these adapters. Those are great adapters for analog signals only. You can't use them for digital because you're not changing that impedance. What that can do is cause jitter propagation and other kinds of fluctuations, fluctuations that just won't make your digital sound good and won't be optimized for what your DAC is receiving. So. If you've got a connection issue, we pretty much have all those solutions here at Moon Audio. Let us know any other kind of connection issues you have down below. We've got some other boxes that can convert stuff from like USB to RCA, uh, uh, SP diff, and AES. Same thing with Toslink. Toslink is light only. You can't use an adapter to go from light to electrical, so you've got to have some kind of box to, to change that conversion. We've got all kinds of different solutions to help you get your digital connections right. Hopefully this was informative. We'll see you next week and we'll have another tech tip for you then. See you soon.